it, but it's the truth, okay? So first and foremost, I want to say this. I actually got this word like three days ago, okay? But I was spending some time with God. And when he gave me this word three three days ago, he literally gave me an update last night, okay? Many of you guys, you are very forgiving. In a physical. Your physical self is forgiving. Because you know you got to forgive. You got to forgive so you can be forgiven, Right? But at the same time, the Lord wants you to promise and the Lord wants you to be forgiving in the spirit. (laughs) I know it's hard, eh? But let me tell you why. Because when people are in the spirit or they're in the dream, some people often, like the dream and the spiritual realm, if there isn't any like masquerading spirits or if you're not like under the influence of black magic, like someone's doing something to you, you'll be showing like yourself in the spirit, who you truly are, right? And sometimes what happens is what's really deeply in your heart will be revealed in the spirit. As in like, let's just say that physically you're convincing yourself, oh, I've forgiven this person. I have no resentment against this person. I'm over it. You're convincing yourself this. You're saying you've forgiven all this type of stuff. But you see them in the spirit or you see them in a dream and you just become angry and want to fight them. You want to beat them up. You want to give them a piece of your mind. You want to wild out. You want to do the things that you used to do back in the day. And you may wake up from that dream like, oh, it's just a dream. But what you don't understand is you showed that you showed the unforgiveness in the spirit. Even though you're convincing your physical self that you have forgiven, you're convincing your your mind is convincing yourself you've forgiven, your heart may not have been forgiven. God knows the heart, the mind, the ways of man. Okay. Now, the reason why I'm telling you this is because the other day, the Lord said the reason why he is going to bless a good amount of his children is because their heart has been clean. Their heart has stayed clean. And those who have a big heart, they are going to be blessed. When I mean they're going to be blessed, I'm not even over-exaggerating. They're going to be blessed. The Lord has shown me that many of his children who have been mocked, ridiculed, who have been put down, who have been attacked, and they have maintained an upright heart thus far, they are going to be blessed. He showed me they are going to be blessed. And this is why many of you guys, you have been consistently attacked. Because people can see that you're going to be blessed. People take advantage of your kind heart. They take advantage of your niceness. They think because you have a big heart, they can bully you or they can put you down. They can attack you with witchcraft. And because they know that you are very kind and they know that you are God-fearing, they know you ain't going to do nothing back to them. So they're taking advantage of that. They're taking your kindness for weakness. But also another part of what they're trying to do is they're trying to poke at you. You know when you poke at the bear for so long, the bear will snap? That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to poke at you thinking that they can eventually make you snap because they want to create reactive abuse. As in they want to use your reaction against you. Right? And this is why the Lord says, again, do not throw your pearls at swine. But this is why the Lord also says, you know, one of the biggest tests is having a clean heart. When you are being attacked, when you are being ridiculed, when a lot of things is going on, you know, and people are not treating you according to the way God wants them to treat you, of course, it's going to be very hard to maintain a clean heart. Not everyone can do that. Not everyone can do that. Not everyone can do that. But many of you guys, you have been humble. You have been kind. I saw something in the spirit a few days ago where I saw a woman forgiving her enemy in the spirit. Forgiving her enemy in the spirit as in like she was around one of her enemies and her enemy was being like something was going on with her enemy. Like Her, her enemy was getting like judged or something like that, right? And because it's judgment season. So her enemy was going getting like judged or whatever. I'm talking really fast today. Sorry, guys. <laughs> and she forgave the enemy. She was feeling really bad in the spirit. Right. And I was feeling bad for her enemy, too. Like, you know, I was feeling bad, too. And I woke up like, wow, why do I feel so bad for her enemy? Like, you know, judgment is supposed to happen. But the Lord said, when you have a big heart, even if someone is your enemy, even if they've attacked you, even if they've done you wrong and you're not you're not in God's way. You're, you're moving aside. You're letting God do whatever he wants to do. You're like, God, I ain't, I'm not going to be in your way. Cause I do not want to be a part of that wrath. So you're moving out of God's way and letting God do what God does. Right. But you will have a bit of feeling sorry for them feeling like, man, you know, you know, I, I really like just wanted things to be different kind of thing. I wanted them to like get it together. So they don't have to go through this. Like 
when you feel like this and you feel this way in your heart, you are a forgiving person. You are a forgiving person. It also means you have a good heart because you cannot fake having a good heart. You can't. When you have a good heart, you can't help it. It's not something you can turn off and turn on. You can't help it. When you are upright in the spirit and you are upright in the heart, that is something you cannot turn off. You cannot turn on. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. People can say they have a good heart all they want, but if they can turn it off and on, when you have a good heart, it's not something you turn off and on. This is just something that is automatically, it's implemented in you. This is this is your this is who you are. This is your spirit, right? So the Lord was sharing to me the other day that many of his children have big hearts. And this is something that he does not want us to change. And this is why I tell you guys all the time, your enemies will always try to poke at you to turn you into them. Sometimes people envy your heart. They envy the kind of person you are. They envy the fact that no matter how much things have happened to you, you are not evil. You are not like them. Some of these wicked enemies, they see that you guys have been through worse than than they have, and you have not changed. And that is a reflection, and they don't like that. They don't like that. And that's why they always keep poking at you. You have something they want. You have a good heart. And they can have a good heart, too, but the pride, they don't want to repent, right? But anyways, point of the matter is... God is blessing his children who have stayed upright during a period of suffering, a period of trials and tribulations. And if you are someone that, you know, you're saying, okay, God, I have a good heart, I'm forgiving, but then you know in the spirit or when you are in dreams, you know that when you see people you don't like, you want to fight them, you want to do this, you want to do that, then God's saying saying that you have to work on your heart. And the reason why is because God wants to bless you beyond what you could imagine. God blesses the upright and their generations. It says this in Psalms, right? So because God wants to pour and God wants to bless you, he wants you to continue to maintain these heart, this heart. Don't let these wicked people, don't let what you have gone through in life, don't let that change you. It's not worth it. You didn't go through all that for no reason. You went through all that to show people that you are still forgiving despite what you had to go through. Our Lord and Savior is still forgiven despite what he went through. And we are to be like him. Do you get what I'm saying now? I understand you're human. You're going to go through days. But always make sure this is a pinpoint in your prayer that you are asking God to always make sure that he is humbling you. He is always helping you keep your heart clean. Always work on it. If you are in a spirit and you see an enemy that you don't like or you see someone that's been attacking you or whatever, you know, don't use that as an opportunity to get at them because you're in a spirit and you think it doesn't it doesn't matter if it's in the spirit because it's not happening in the physical. You can't be judged. No, you can be judged, especially if you're in your right mind and there's no influence from like witchcraft or black magic or anything that's like influencing you or hypnotizing you to do wrong right so you can be judged keep the heart right i'm telling you right now there's some people out there who envy your heart so much they all they want is they want to see you bitter they want to see you cold they want to see you evil because that's going to give them the gratification and the satisfaction that you are no different than them that you don't you're not above them that's all they want to see and that's all they want to hear and that's all they want to say You get what I'm saying? Show them the opposite. When you always maintain a good heart and you are always praying and always repenting and asking God to forgive you and you always take accountability, I'm telling you, your heart gets warmer and warmer and warmer and better and better and better and better before you know it. It's just a regular part of who you are and it's something you cannot fake. And that's why people will always try to dig up dirt on you. Because they're like, there's no way this person is that nice. There's no way this person has a big heart. They're fake. They have to be fake. That's what they usually say when they're the ones that are fake. That's what they usually say when they have a lot of work to work on within their heart. That's what they usually say. They try to find dirt on you and realize that you do have a big heart. And then when they say that God is blessing you because you have a big heart, they want to attack you. They want to assassinate you. Right. And they're trying to change you. And this is why you got to stay upright. Don't let nobody change you. Don't let life's trials and tribulations change you. Okay, you kept a good heart thus far. Keep it going. God is going to bless the the children. Those of you. I was going to say God's going to bless all y'all, but I can't I can't say that. I'd be lying. He said he's going to bless the upright. He said he's going to bless those with big hearts. That's what he said. So I'm here to give you the confirmation. If that's something you have to work on, let that be an important, sorry, an important part of your prayer. Okay. I ain't ending the video. I'm just going to post it. <laughs> I ain't got time. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.